Meeting to order at 631. Kathy Lee, could you take the roll call, please? All righty. Arbaugh, present. Haley Hutton, Billy Hutton, Dave Gallup. Here. Are you Dave or David? You know what? All right. Eric, uh, John Split. Here. And Terry Rovita. Here. Okay. I believe we have a quorum. The four of us. Um, next is approval of agenda. Oh, yeah. And this is a amended agenda because we do have a certificate of appropriateness application. Oh, I see. Okay. I'll make a motion. We approve the amended agenda. Motion aye. by Dave. I'll second it. Second by Terry. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, acceptance or approval of past minutes. Actually, we, our meeting was actually a no meeting in October, so right. we don't have any past minutes. Nope. So November? November, we, November there was no quorum. We right. didn't have a quorum. Oh, so okay. we didn't meet. Got it. And acceptance of the financial report, which is not with this. It's in the old one, though. Yeah, it's there's no changes, so no, right. it's still the yeah, same. Yeah, same. okay. So, I make a motion to accept it. Second. Motion by Terry, second by Dave to accept the financial report. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Um, we can go to public comment. Here's Billy. Hi, Billy. Hi, Billy. Hi. <sighs> Michelle. <laughs> we are down on number six public comment and there's nobody here to comment. So we will go to seven certificate of appropriateness application for 231 Watson Street. I'll make a motion to approve. Wow. What is this? I will what second for discussion. We can yep. discuss that. We can discuss. <laughs> um, furniture restyling vintage. What's the name? Chic cheek. Chic. Yeah, I don't know how to exactly That's how pronounce it. <laughs> I could be wrong. She, at first I was she, like Teak. At first Sheik I Teak. thought it was clinic something and then I read the windows. It's like, well, can't be the clinic after you got home decor. <laughs> well, this is really exciting that we have another person. It's just reclaimed furniture done in a mm -hmm. cheap manner. She I does. love her dresser out there. Instead of antique. Cheek tea. Right. Cheek tea. Something different. So 27 inches. So it is. It's vintage furniture. Yeah, mm -hmm. vintage furniture. Furniture restyling. I mean, everything's legal on it, right? Yeah. Yeah. It is and very I'm, calm and it's very well done. I'm glad she came in. She actually, she contacted me like a month ago. And because she wanted to check on if she needed permission to repaint. She That was a different color, it's painted white now. Right. I can't remember the color, if it was blue or, no. Um, what space was is it? Was it in a gray? Gray, something, something gray. like that. 31. And I told her that. Where, where blue used to be. Yeah. Oh, that side good, there, good. On the corner there. All right. Yeah, yeah I see you. Mm -hmm. So I told her we don't, you know, we have no control over color, so, you know, as long as your landlord says it's fine to paint, she yeah. can paint. And then she asked about the lettering, and I said, yes, I'm glad you asked, because some people just put the lettering on the windows without a permit a or a certificate of appropriateness. So. Oh, I see, yeah. So, yeah, we're all set with that. I think it looks good. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the fact the way that entrance is set like that so that you know that the hours can be on the window instead of the door. Mm -hmm. yeah, I just like that out. personally because it just gives you a nice clean entry. Yeah, you're right. mm -hmm. nice, yeah. Well, we do have a motion by Dave. Oh, yeah. And I seconded it. 
Okay. Um, is there any more discussion? No, that's right. So the motion is to approve the white vinyl graphics for storefront doors and windows. What is that? Oh. Sounds like a garage door. That's, right? a, that's done. That is the garage door. Yeah, oh, down below. Oh, yeah. Holy smokes. Bring the money in. Yeah. Oh, maybe. So, <laughs> maybe we can recount. <laughs> <laughs> Going into garbage. Is crazy? So the trunks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so I'd like. All in favor, right? All in favor of approval, say aye. 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 Opposed? No opposition. Motion carries. Okay. And I will email Susan Leahy that we approved it and she can do all the other paperwork. Have you guys gained any weight since COVID started? What's that? Have you gained any weight since COVID started? You lost, right? I've lost, I'm down 32 pounds. Holy cats! That's no. crazy! Now, you're, you're on a plan or something? Oh my God, good for you. How about you, Bones? I you can't afford it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've been the same weight since I've, I've been like 17 years old. Oh <laughs> Just to make sure. First of all, I lost four pounds. I wish I could say that. Well, actually, I don't. I look like I'm from Ethiopia. <laughs> <laughs> Even the years they drank a lot of beer, it didn't go in. Well, yeah. now it's water fountain. But oh, what a blessing. I don't know. Just Chris gets mad. No way the same. Eat donuts and cookies. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I had a friend drop off a pecan pie two days before Thanksgiving and it was gone. Oh. I didn't even have any for Thanksgiving. I ate, oh. ate the whole thing. Oh my gosh. I went and bought an apple pie to replace. I lost four pounds when it first started. And well, it took me two days, but... Six pounds up. I'm bad. That's not bad. That's yeah. not bad, but you always wonder if you're going to be able to get back in the box. You know, like, oh God, when will I get into control? This summer it'll all be okay. <laughs> yeah, let's hope so. Okay, number eight, Facebook page, and Haley's not here, so we can bypass that. I don't oh. know. I don't know how she's doing on that. Uh, she's been pretty busy. But she yeah, like, like everybody, it's just right. Yeah. It's I will it. so. This is sorry. No, go ahead. Um, I'm going to check like the historic flags. Yes, we can go nine. to nine. She's oh, fine. She's ready for nine. Sorry. Yeah, that's she's, fine. I she, am she so worked, mad. She worked her rear end off. I was really ready last week and I just <laughs> was sitting in the historical society with Steve while he was looking at some crazy ass postcard. Hate that kind of stuff, but I go with him because he loves me and he does nice things for me. So there were three areas that I found National Register landmarks and then. Um, historic images of Ripon, and then Boy Scouts of America did some signage mm -hmm. too. So if you want to take a look, these are all different. I just didn't make um, a thousand copies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's kind of cool that there is some regularity within those three groups, but not a lot. And and honestly, those. Um, Boy Scout ones are being ripped to hell. Are they really? People are all trying on to, this list? Yeah, they're trying to take them off or Well yeah, they're all they're not at one time we tried to glue them and that didn't work. And yeah. Double face tape first, that didn't work. Yeah. So yeah. Then I put quarter inch screws in them and that did it. But yeah. then it rotted around the screws. Oh, oh sure. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oxidation from mm -hmm. So I'm wondering what you guys would think if I sent this to each of you and you could kind of nominate additional things that you could see the signs being, you know, mm -hmm. like it. And if I missed one, because that would not shock me. Um, you know, sign frames was pretty nice. I mean, that's a professional flag. Yeah, that's like a cast. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's in a price point, though. If we could afford those. Though. That's that's one oh, thing. Oh, but with, I have this. With those other ones. Cheaper ones, ones. yeah. Yeah. Now that was These cool. are um, people who do the signage. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Were we able to talk to Steve Reamer? We should be able to. Yeah, we should. Because somebody was going to check with him about where he got the quotes and everything. 
Am I wrong? No, you were correct on that. Yeah, I don't, you know, like these ones that you said are getting, the Boy Scout ones are getting scratched up. They seem to be, people that seem to be tearing them. These are behind like a piece of plexiglass? Yeah, those yeah. are literally hung on the building in a frame. Right. And that's not so bad. I mean, no. yeah, there's a little more cost, but I wouldn't think it's the same cost as like a cast. It'd be at one time with the frame. It's these, right. John. That are being the sun is what really manhandled. Okay, to right. Yeah. Railroad, yes, that's down yeah. by Condon's. Condon's and yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's just like aluminum, and then. Yeah. And then like I said, we had two different companies, and then that was the last one, was the third, which became the best one. But even two of those fell, mm -hmm. and then they replaced them. They sent us new ones. They were good about it, they, you know. And um, and then after that, I, I, then that was it. it. Yeah, I see. Oh, those. okay. I've seen those. Yep, that's okay. that list. That goes with those. Yep. Okay. Now, as far as you know, as far as the the you know the plaques and that, um, are we going to try to come up with figure out one that we right. want, mm -hmm. and then? Owners would be purchasing them, and we, that way we'd have a cost if we, you know, what they were. I mean, the other ones are really inexpensive. That was the thing. Mm -hmm. I think part of the thing was I think Stein, Steinberg and I talked about it because first, well, doing it first and you know, like budget, budget. Right. So we'll do it that way first, and then if it goes, then maybe we can advance to a better one. Yeah. That was our theory behind it at that time. Right. And then the other thing was trying to get trying to get people to come on board with it. Mm -hmm. So when you say people buy them, do you mean building owners? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think most of the people that own the buildings would be okay with it. Yeah. It's I, not you know it's not a ton of money. Now, which one are you saying isn't a ton? Th these out here are, are like pretty inexpensive. I mean, they actually, I mean, they still cost. Yeah. But they, you know, they weren't anything like what Jack has on his place. Yeah. So, so not the bronze cast. Those whatever. to me are the uh, really. I mean, there's got to be a company making them more. Um, I don't know if Jack's was aluminum or not. I'd put one of them on. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. I, don't I don't know. know. It was heavy looking. It's, it's like know. the one at the the uh, corner building down here, the American House. Oh yeah. That one. They're, they're better. Mm -hmm. Did you see these, Dave? That's nice. Did you see the national ones? Mm -hmm. no, There's a no. lot. I it's like the ones with the arch on them. At the top? Yeah. yeah. Like that. I, and and I, we like the old ones, too. Though. Why would they put that on there? You see that? <laughs> that was so controversial. Oh, good night. It was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I never caught it. Yeah. Um, Why would you put that on an advertisement? Oh, wow. That a, yeah, that's the one I like. No kidding. We're all yeah, because we're old it. enough. I mean, this is, um, we're in the nice way of looking. Look at it. It. Okay. <laughs> so that's what it is. That's kind of what I'm is looking it? for. Um, we did in Ohio. Is yeah. that Jack's? Crosby still is now. That's Jack. Uh, or is that someone different? Jacob. Jack Steinbrain. Well, that was Jacob Woodrow's house. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. The, the Same octagon. house. Okay, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. So he lives in that, or did live in that octagon. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's the Octagon House. Yeah, and boy, is that nice. I guess I could call and see what something like this would set us up. If we back. could get some prices. The yeah, only thing, to... if you have a description of the site, of course, it's going to be a lot more money if they have to put it on a bronze plaque. Versus... Yeah, that actually is a hindrance because it is going to be a lot. Yeah, like the downtown ones, I can see a lot of a lot of words on them because right. buildings change and if you want right. to say what it was originally and then go to something else yeah that's where you run into it um but maybe, maybe i'll get a covid special <laughs> <You know? laughs> throw that in with black friday and the other the other thing you know like you said you know the building you go back to the beginning the origin of the building but then how much of that history between 
the origin and today do do you have to put on there? Mm -hmm. Unless there was a period in there where it was something that was really specific yeah, that's, to that's the history. I don't know yeah, what you were talking about. Oh, that's what I said. You run out of room, you can't put it on right. there. So usually everybody goes back to like it. almost yeah. the original. Right. But the thing with Ripon is the original well, was sort of historical. It, 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 it is, but it was a... Put your shot and it went into just going and on and on. Right. Even in, in the early years. So it'd be difficult, so you, that's what I'm saying, so to put all that on there would be difficult unless there was a period in there when it changed to something different and that that building at that time when it changed was something of historic value to the community at that point in time. You know, because you know, it could have been a seamstress, went from a butcher shop to a seamstress where well what is a seamstress no, never thought that. about right. Yeah. Some of them emailing my guy on the National Historical. You know, some of them just moved, just moved gone, to different you know, locations. Well, the guy, right. the guy go through times. to get the approval, like I'm putting a new roof on and you got to go through them. Isn't it Joe DeRose? Because he retired. He retired. But I have a new one. No, there's a new guy now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A new guy. Oh, you already talked to him? Um, No, no, I just got the email and changed the contact information. Okay. Tell so you want to apply for that, the grant or the tax? Yeah. Yeah, I got a new uh, water heater and I can take that off. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I'm getting a new electrical service and Don't I can you take have that to have off it and a new roof. Before you get it though? Yes, that, that's the thing. What's that? You have to have it approved. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Before. Yep. It's pretty easy to approve. They say, you know, if you're doing this, yeah. Ours yeah. broke and we didn't get approval because we had to get it. You can get approval. You, <laughs> you can get approval in about two minutes and it's 25 percent off your state taxes. Oh, mm -hmm. what a shame. We do that a lot, actually. Is it? Is any, the, anything on the exterior, or any mechanicals inside, like hot water heater, boiler, or electrical service, you can do those. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, it starts getting iffy, like doing a railing on stairs and stuff. Oh, pits, sure. You know that they don't. They really and work do the outside. On the mm -hmm. phone, they'll approve it. Anything what? On the phone, they'll approve it. Not on the phone. You got to send them pictures. Yeah. You got to. It's. So thirty-two seconds. What do you mean? When you said you could get approval in thirty-two seconds. Yeah, I mean I got it. I took pictures of the house. Mm -hmm. I emailed him. Okay. And emailed it to me, and he he sent me an email back, no problem. Cool. And then he sent me the official stuff, and. Then I just sign off on it and then put it, and I'm good. And they'll file it. Yeah. Cool. Um, where is the pictures where there's a big description that it's framed? The one under plexiglass. Oh yeah. Or, no. Nope. That's the one under plexiglass. Yeah. I see. I like these because they don't fade. It's right. It's gonna look like that for 300 years. Yeah. And it's so like. Kennedy, <laughs> classic, you know. Yes, it's a classic, which is what it should be. It's the exactly. National Historical Register. And I, I love these, oh. so I'll get a price this, on them. Oh the yeah, one? that's yeah. the one, too. So, this is the problem. In the past, when we do this, we talk about the building and put yeah. pictures. Yeah. So, and I don't know, John and uh, you guys, if this if, are these the only two right now at the Campus Theater and the Grandview Hotel? Because that's the only two I could find. Condens has one where yeah. the depot was. But it mm -hmm. doesn't have all this yakety yak. Those are the framed ones, right? Yeah. 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 Yes. yes. Those are probably the only two that are framed. That I know of. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't have information about the building at Condon. No picture of the old depot. Just the it was the old depot. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just wondering because um, I guess that's a big part of this. You know, if we want to continue with the description and the pictures. Well, I guess to find out really find out way. what the cost in the frame is, as opposed to the Steinbring style, mm -hmm. the more expensive one. Right. Yeah. And if it's an incredible amount, well, that's easy to right. roll Truthfully, I would rather go with the expensive one. I mean, it's a one I would too. And so it's done. 
-hmm. like Dave was saying, it's going to be right. there for 300 years. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's and not going to fade, it's not going to... Because you're going to have to right. keep replacing this inside the frame. And eventually you're going right. to have the same cost into it. Right. It depends on where it's at, where the sun can get to it. Yeah. Right. Because that's what happens to them. The sun gets they to weather. it. They right? weather. And they're still going to also, you know, the frame's still exposed to the elements. And mm -hmm. Yeah. But if we if we have buy well once and call it a day. Yep. Tourists. But if you go and look at this, it looks about the same. And I think when they age, it's it's like a copper roof. Yeah, they look changing really nice color. Patina. I think mm -hmm. they put a patina on them and they look good. I suppose sure. if we maybe asked, um, what's that group again down Main Main Street, Ripon Main Street? Ripon Main. Ripon Main. Maybe they could come up with descriptions of. I don't know, 25 buildings and ripping that people, because people come to our house a lot, ask us if they can walk through, and Steve made one of these up for our house, because people come by and ask about it, <clears throat> and he's a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, see, now I could, he's a good host. <laughs> yes, he does a nice job. I could see if we had these plaques, and if anybody wanted to go further, they'd have that info, like, inside somewhere where it's accessible, because... Most of them are retail shops or something. Right, or they've always everything. So there's people going in and out. So you could, it could hang there inside yeah. that they have mm -hmm. something that this is this is the actual history of the building. Because I do, I get questions all the time about John's building. Oh, I bet. And then we yeah. start telling them about, you know, it being the butcher shop. And then they get real interested. They start looking at the windows and everything. And it's, ah, fun. Mm -hmm. um, well, I I like both. I love this aesthetically, but this kind of pulls on my heart because I think it's more Is personal. there information on where we could contact them, email them, and get prices? This one? That's what, um, were you going to call Steve Reamer or you? Or you? No, I think I was supposed to, and I haven't caught Steve. Mm -hmm. So call Steve. If you find out who did these, I'll do the work. I just don't want to not have anything to go on, Billy, you know? Because in our old minutes, I wouldn't even know where to go and look. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Oh, when Steve did it, you mean? Yeah. Well, I think I was here when Steve did it. Yeah, if we can get that, and then if we can check, if Kathy Lee, are you going to check on the cost of like a yeah. the other bronze or yeah, whatever um, that bronze cast? Bronze plaque. Cast and, one. Mm -hmm. and I can call Steve. Um, and the mounting is, I would think, might be a bit of a problem if somebody I'm, didn't want to drill a hole in the brick. Yeah, some might. We'll just have to see yeah, after, see. you know. You can get creative, though, maybe, and mm -hmm. put, it, put it on the trim or yeah, something. Yeah, something where it wouldn't affect mm -hmm. the brick. Yeah, because there is a space between a lot of them where you could right. fit mm -hmm. them in there instead. Mm -hmm. Ooh. All right. Now, I can't promise because sometimes he doesn't get back. So, hey, welcome. Hi. Um, Too late for public comment. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, it's seven o'clock yet. We might have to what six thirty. <laughs> we can go back though. We'll go back. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was seven o'clock. No, that's fine. We'll we'll go back to it. I get the time wrong too, which is not <laughs> cool. Yeah, I, I usually don't get the time wrong in my job. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um. All right, I'll see how far okay. I can get on this because sometimes he sits on stuff and doesn't get back to me. Mm -hmm. Well, not me, Steve, but you know what I mean. Okay. And then... We'll um, Has Steve been down at the uh, Historical Society? Or? Oh, God, yeah. Maybe you can catch him there. Oh, Steve. I thought you meant my yeah, Steve. Steve. No, I don't know oh. if he has. Well, maybe just ask your Steve because he'll probably see him before I will, maybe. Mm -hmm. Cause he's, yeah, he's I'll, not, I'll, if he's doing something. They're not just calling, I know pretty well. That's true, too. Yeah. I mean, not like really well, but. I'm dying to have his wife come over. Like, I've never seen her. Cold ladder or something like that. Okay, sorry, I digress. Okay. Well, since we have a person from the public, we'll go back to number six to public comments. Like come on down. That's fine. It's, yeah. If you want to come to the table, you can. If you want to sit down there. If you sit down here, I'll be able to hear you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't see you. That's that extra one. Oh, okay. 
Well, I, I wanted to, I wanted to come here tonight for two reasons. Number one is um, just to touch on the ice cream cone. Um, the uh, we moved, removed it, but we're moving it up, so we're in the process of doing that. Just so you know. Thank you. Um, the other thing is. Um, I wanted to talk about the stuff on the sidewalk, the displays on the sidewalk or whatever. Um, as I stated in the, I, I spoke briefly at the uh, council meeting mm -hmm. about, I think that everybody should have their input um, if something's gonna happen like that. Um, I do, coming from a bigger city um, <laughs> and um, the wonderful place of Illinois, um, we have a lot to be proud of in this town. And um, I think that you know, um, these businesses, and I look back to the, the town I came from, um, has, I counted it last night, six neighborhoods that are in the town. The town is 20,000 people, but it's a lot of multifamily dwellings and mixed in there also. And, um, but the town itself is just six, six subdivisions. And um, so it's a, it's a small town, and they're doing things where they're doing things to help their community, um, to help their downtown businesses. Um, during the COVID, they had blocked off, um, they don't have much more parking than we do. We have some, or they have some more than we do, but not much. Um, but they blocked off with um, concrete barriers, for example, in front of each individual um, eating establishment. Took those parking spaces away, put some nice banners on the concrete pillar or on the concrete separators look awesome, but they did things to help their, their downtown. I think that looking at um, the uh, Widow's Weekend, the Small Business Saturday, I yeah. watched. Um, I watched closely and, you know, I listened to comments, talked to, talk to the women, and um, a lot of the comments were how much they love our downtown. And part of that is what's out on the sidewalks for them to look at. Um, it's very appealing to people. So um, I don't know how many how many complaints there's been on things or whatever. I just don't want to see that small town atmosphere go away. With um, I don't know how many have lived in a bigger city or a bigger town um, to really appreciate that small town, you know, the small town element of making it look look nice and putting stuff out on sidewalks and mm -hmm. making it appealing for people. Um, and at this time right now with COVID and everything. I mean, we should be doing things to help our downtown businesses yeah. and not hurt them. I mean, I, not saying you're out to hurt them. That's not what I'm saying. But little things like that um, could hurt a business, you know. Um, obviously, with the ice cream shop, us putting a couple things out there, uh, we don't put out as much as somebody else does. And I get it. Some, some of those may put out too much in certain people's eyes or whatever. But I think that... Um, we just we need to be conscious of it and help our help our downtown and not take not take those things away and it, seriously until coming from a different place. I mean, what we have here, I love it here. I wouldn't want to give it up, you know. And um, it's just something to be proud of, mm -hmm. something to be proud of. So I that's what like I want. And if if we are going to make changes, let's get everybody's input. Yeah, you know, I feel you, like it's kind of something that came up and exploded in a negative yeah. way because it was repeated incorrectly. So that's not our idea at all. I mean, right. we it's just want to be able to pass codes for blind people and sure. heights and things like that. You know, I love your tables in front of your store. I love oh, uh, where they have tables at Canoose in the summer and then also how Tammy puts her things out. and. Um, oh, Yvonne, so all, and I agree. It actually pulls people in because you could be driving down Twenty Three and see some of that. I know I would turn around if I saw that. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just. That's all I'm saying. I, I, I'm not here to, not here to throw stones or anything like no. that or make a big deal out of something. I, it's mm -hmm. not a. Big you didn't get one of these. This is our uh, itinerary, but number ten and number eleven are kind of like where we're we're headed. We're, we're headed to that. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah. I, I knew it was towards the bottom, so right. I was going to give my comment and then just stick around the seat. <laughs> well, exactly. We can go. No. We can go right down to a. No, you don't have. You don't have to skip over. I'm not. No, my wife's no, no I, I want to because I want. <laughs> it was brought up. I was the one that started the whole initiating of it because I had a couple complaints that a man in a scooter could not 
get through. Now that was when Dave Knuth had his park let out there and the sidewalk, you know, you have to go around. Sure. Mm -hmm. And he even said he couldn't go to the ice cream shop with his grandkids because of that fact. Because so of what? It was too congested. Okay. His complaint is, why can't I go straight on the sidewalk? That's a whole different story, and that's something that we need to talk about. Yeah. So I started it, and then I asked Lud Wirtz at our council meeting to give an explanation of what can and can't be on the street. Okay. And then it exploded. I mean, people were, oh, yeah. were saying that I'm, you got a bad call, I got a couple texts, and... John, everybody raised the letters so, about him. They got verbally assaulted downtown. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I so, haven't done that. I haven't. The story was that John and I were out to get everybody on Watson to get everything off the sidewalks, and I went, I own a business on Watson. Why would I? Right, yeah. And I own a building on Watson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so it went that way, and Ludwurtz's explanation that night are, we allow permitted sidewalk cafes. So that's like Dave Knuth. I think you have a sidewalk cafe, Jay's down the street has them. Mm -hmm. You can put a table and some chairs out there. The actual building is, and there's a gray area, it's either 18 inches to 24 inches that you can come out from the front of your building to the sidewalk. That's reasonable. And after that, you need as close to, the intention is to have five feet of clear space. And we all know that there's lamp posts, there's fire hydrants, yeah. um, trees, trees. trees. Plus, like, um, there's numerous things that. And the west side, the sidewalk is narrower than the east side. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and the intention never was to take everything off the street. No. We just need to be mindful of the clearest path that somebody can have to get through there. I think the. Um, Dig has things on both sides of mm -hmm. the sidewalk, and that actually I could see a scooter right. having an issue getting through there. <laughs> and then when mm -hmm. Carol has their great big and sofa, or, lean, or anything leaning up against the trees or the lamp posts, yeah, yeah, because then that's more than the eighteen to twenty. Because honestly, right. if you don't, do you feel like if we had everything on one side, it would be enough space for them? Because we shouldn't. I don't feel yeah, like I'm not, I'm not here to make And our intention, like when I talked to Chief Walner, was I don't, I'm not going to walk down there and go, violation, violation. Right. It's, we just need that store owners and people downtown like you, Terry, if you see something or Chief Saul, just, hey, that's kind of crowded. Let's, maybe we can move that. Mm -hmm. Because it's, nobody wants to have an ordinance that you have to, right. you can't have anything on the street. No, not like for Tammy and like for Yvonne and Hart Mercantile. And uh, Dorn, all of those guys. They, people know they're open mm -hmm. because they place their products outside. Absolutely. Oh, it's so a, it's and that's, that's right. part of history. They'll be driving people down and then they all of a sudden they see, oh, they are open because yeah. there's stuff outside. I used to, I started doing that when I had the odd fellows. They're probably the only one around that ever did it. I just mm -hmm. threw stuff out there. Yeah, that's. Back really? then, there was no ordinance, no anything, but that's, that's, right. that was yeah. that's how people knew I was open. Mm -hmm. And I think, you, Terry, you bring up a good, a good um, example of that, like with Hart Mercantile and stuff, because, you know, she puts stuff out, and so does Yvonne, out here and out here, mm -hmm. but there's still that clear path. Sometimes it gets clogged right. in front right. of one, or, I one of those businesses. I was reeds and stuff were way out, and I was like, oh, Sometimes, God. yeah, yeah, I, I agree with that. But, like, yeah. for example, you know, we have a tree that's just kind of to the left of our entrance, and sometimes we take, we'll, we have a bench that's very narrow, it's a very narrow bench, and we set that right up against the tree, and oh. people sit there, but it doesn't impede mm -hmm. at all. You know, it's more than the 18 inches from the front of our building. Right. But they get the shade. But it's, but it's not but it's not in a way it's not hurting anybody. I don't want I don't want to be in the way downtown. I don't want no nobody inconvenience anybody. Yeah. That's not going to help our downtown. So mm -hmm. you know what percentage negative is there to the positive? Minimal. Yeah. Very minimal. The only the only complaints I've heard and it's when people want to get out of their vehicles. The sidewalk advertising. I mean yeah. Even mine because you take it you put it out. And that's the other thing, you know, 
if that's got to be within 18 to 24 inches of your building, mm -hmm. you know, most of us put it out towards the curb. Sure. For and more so visibility. they can see, well, it does, it does hinder when people want to get out of their vehicle. I mean, it's in the way. And that's the thing. And Put it on the line. And some of those. Yeah, where you back. You, you got the line. You yeah. The cars park here. The <clears throat> right, line but not, right here in the sidewalk. But if you, if you have a store that you, you're centered square on. Are you two parking spots. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't no. have a, you don't have a line in the middle of yours. Well, put it to the left or right. But it's also, it's also like the, the tree. Mm-hmm. If you're looking at your building, the tree to the right there is right at, that is one of the worst placed trees on the whole street because it's right at the passenger's door. Oh, okay. Yeah. It is. Mm -hmm. It is. It's terrible. I'll, yeah. give you, I'll give you an example of something like you're talking about is, you know, we have high school girls who work for us. Sometimes, trust me, they don't think like <laughs> adults, okay? And they put out no. those, we, we put out, we have a green, like a, line, a teal green chair and a, an old fashioned pink chair and we put them out. Well. The girls put them out facing the store right next to the curb. Well, oh. <laughs> from next door, the older people come, they go to get their hair done, and they can't get out of their car, just like you said. Mm -hmm. So what we've, done, what we've done with that is, you know, we have a problem at the ice cream shop, and that is bicycles. During the summertime, people, families ride their bicycles. It's not one bike. It's mm -hmm. five bicycles because it's an right. entire family riding downtown. And they come in, and where do they park their bicycles? Right in some of the thing, right on the sidewalk, mm -hmm. they lay them down. It'd be right nice there. to have in the green space over there bicycle racks. We do have it over well, there. What, and I'll, tell you, I'll tell you a story. I'll tell you a story that happened with that. So, um, so we're always getting those bikes, and I'm always telling them, you, think, you don't do this, and they put it up against the neighbor's glass, and it's like, don't put it up there against the window. <laughs> yeah. um, it's always a policing thing. So sometimes our girls put things out there that shouldn't be out there, or whatever. Um, so what we've, what we've done is um, we've asked people, hey, can you park your bike down in that little where the concrete thing bumps out? Can you park your bike down there? Or we'll take those two chairs and we'll put them down there mm -hmm. so, that the, so that the families can spread themselves out a little bit. You know, where, we take, them, we take them in at nighttime. What's that? You mean down by Tim, Timothy's? No, no, down by... Um, Jay's? What, which one? What's the last one over there? Blue Design. Oh, was blue there, the that, shop. that last building on the corner. Just at, at Blossom, right? Yeah, at yeah. Blossom. Yeah. Yeah. Right at the right at the kickout. There's like a concrete. It comes yeah, out yeah. a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we out. we use that to put a chair out there once in a while. And sure. I ask people that's where they park their bikes because there is nowhere to park their bikes. Mm -hmm. And that's when we put the bike rack on the other side in the green space. So what what happened is there was a bench in front of the old um, American House. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I took that bench because one day what happened was um, there was a, a dad and or a grandpa and his kids, I don't know if he's grandpa or dad, and they needed a napkin. Well, the kid, he had to be, I, want to, I saw a six-year-old today, so I'm comparing him to six years old. Doesn't say anything, dad. Runs across the street to get a napkin, and his car locked its brakes up and came this close to hitting that kid because he came out from between two cars. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Dad couldn't act fast enough. Yeah. He, heard, he heard, go get a napkin, and he bolted across the street. So the dad came over, or Grandpa, and said, why is that bench over there where we can't sit in front of the ice cream shop and or on this side of the street? Why can't we sit on this side of the street on that bench? we got to sit in front of this ugly, smelly thing. And my kid almost got hit by a car. I said, you know what? It's not, it's not being used by anybody. So we picked it up. Yeah. At first we brought it over in front of the ice cream shop, and then we took it and we put it on the corner. And it, it worked out perfect on the corner. Yeah. Um, it got removed for, obviously, for snow, for snow yeah. removal, mm -hmm. um, and didn't, we didn't put that back. But that's an example of it's a great place to have the bike rack, but you know, why shouldn't we have some seating at the corner maybe on a seating, bench or two seating, benches? Seating would take precedence over... Can are there more seating available? I, I, I'm saying the benches. What, yeah. Why not put, because we can yeah. fit two benches down there. Why not put them down there just sure. to keep things safer? And mm -hmm. make, I think that's a, a with the Main Street yeah, idea. That and something that, that could be, to be They could take that up. Yeah. But that green space is a, is a great place to put some tables. Who whether it's for that? Whether it's for us or Knuth's or, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter who it's for. I really, really like what they did the green space down next to oh, that looks the 308 building 
down the one next to the Mapes. Oh, they put that little. They put that fen the yeah. fence in there and everything yeah. and redid that. That's really nice. So it looks really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Whose property is that? It's Tom, 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 Tom. So Tom would that. he allow people to put bikes in there, do you think? Down well, right there. now he's just well, protecting. I, it's just to keep. Actually, that reminds me, I think you should have got a certificate of appropriateness for that fence. For that fence across yeah. there? Mm. Because Yvonne's been asking Craig T. Bond to promote to put the same type of thing in the green space between yeah. her and the American House. So who owns that? Craig? But that would be all fenced off, though. They wouldn't so be able to use that. that well, they, you, they could still put it because the steps come down there, so they could still there they could still put a gate in there because Tom's got a gate on his dog. Oh, he does have a gate. I even, didn't know yeah. he had a gate. Even does if it, it was okay. set back yeah. ten feet, just to have those bike, you know, space there. Right. If that was set back, then you could have bike racks in front of the fence that mm -hmm. would hold. Mm -hmm. Would be something that. Uh, I'll have to talk to Craig. I don't know if we have a meeting coming up again or not. While you're doing that, you could advertise going up the steps because there's extra parking. Right, yeah. that's one of the things. That's and a then easy, the other thing you do is down. you put a crosswalk right there to cross mm -hmm. the street. Mm -hmm. But there's no railing by those steps, is there? Coming there down up there? There is. There's one. There's got to be. Okay, because yeah. I have yeah. never taken them. Um, mm -hmm. hmm. Well, maybe there'll be parking in the future if they tear the building down. Yeah, you don't know what's going to happen on the corner. Yeah. <laughs> that's, um, that's a big plus. I just, I just wanted to, I didn't come here to, to interfere with your conversation too much. No. I just wanted to, to beg you guys and just please, you know, um, if you don't come from a small, from a big city, you you almost become, what do you call it? Um, Indifferent? No, it's, it's, you, you almost can't appreciate what oh. you have mm -hmm. because you're not from a big city. You know, mm -hmm. so but love the town, and I think you guys are doing um, as much as I got frustrated about the ice cream cone. Um, mm -hmm. I think you guys are, are doing. You, you have all those good things in mind to do, um, and so just I just wanted to come here and voice my opinion. That's mm -hmm. all. Yep. So, thank you. Yeah, yeah that's appreciate great. it. Yeah, we don't get many. No. Yeah, we have good public <laughs> conversations. That's good. <laughs> I I think. It, Primarily well, and your business arm, so that makes it, you know, a difference. Yeah, a big well, difference. And I'm just, so I'm just, I'm just sitting here. I'll just, I'll just. But that's where it comes down here. You know, we've got uh, ten and eleven sidewalk advertising, and uh, discuss signage at the intersection entering historic Griffin. So we're trying to get people that are out on the highway to get in there. Yeah. yeah. So that's. We talk I about something, need... something like you know, when you go to the lakes. And there's one entrance, you got 15 people down there, and they've got just the signage. post with the signage. We're looking at something like that to put on each end of town to direct everybody downtown yeah. to give somebody. There's a place, I drove through the town, it's up north, um, near, ca there's a casino up there. Oh, Lord. Um, casino? Boulder? Or what? What did you Kashina? say? Casino? Yes. Kashina. Going you to get that? up there, going through, um, is it Black something? There's a, what's, there's a town that you go through to get there, okay? Yeah. They have an amazing sign for their downtown. You guys should check it out. I, I'm just, I saw it just. Describe it. I can look on a map and find. You know, I've always liked the cottage ones where they, you know, there's yeah. like I one pole with you know. Like, yeah. I think it needs to be more than one. For some reason, I try to look at the wall and I go find. Once you pass it, you've passed it, and in our car, there's usually confusion, mm -hmm. and we pass it. Have to go around the block. So See, we had a couple. Remind me not I to think, follow oh. you through town. <laughs> <laughs> no, you want well, to follow. Don't let her get behind you. <laughs> <laughs> they, I thought we could maybe do three, like. One for restaurants, one for you know shopping, one for clothing. That kind of breakdown, and and that way we could get a little bit more than one sign, and get people going and coming downtown. Well, for years we've advertised shop historic ripping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's always been the goal, it seems to me in the past and even still now. That's historic ripping. But we're talking about bringing attention to the shop. Shops for the you owners. See, if people, they can get to Ripon, they'll find you. 
well, you and Steve probably like me too. I mean, I can yeah. you send me in a town that's got an antique shop, and I'll find it. I just tell me what town it is. I'll find it. Yeah. If I have to park a mile. I'll find it. We have, we so we have a place up in Chautauqua, Wisconsin, and in Chautauqua they have a board like that that's got all arrows on it. Yeah. Like that's, the restaurant this way, this yeah, way. Mm -hmm. yeah. But there's so many of them. Right. Like you say. It gets lost in there, and they're only yeah. as big. You yeah. try to read that as it's you're driving confusing. by. It's confusing, yeah. Um, but <laughs> I will tell you that our ice cream truck, that's the reason we bought the ice cream truck, was to just for pure advertisement, because that has wheels, so we can park it pretty much anywhere you can yeah. park a, mm -hmm. a legally parked car for seven days. Now, we don't do that, but we have, um, we have some people who let us park it in their lots, and i got to tell you, the statistics show that when that thing's out, it increases our sales a lot. It's a drop. Okay. Mm -hmm. But what it's also doing is it's pulling people off of 23 yeah. who come into town to get ice cream. But guess what? Now they're getting, now they go over to Tammy's place. Oh, or yeah, they go to the Hiller's place. Or they go to his. And it's bring, it does bring people just, downtown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what we got it for. Yeah. Um, Renee's scrapbook store is closing. Um, obviously, I don't know if you guys know that or not, but we're closing it up. And, um, um, you know, there are people who, it's a destination. There's not many scrapbook stores around anymore. Mm -hmm. And that's what kept us going for a long time. Um, but with COVID and with everything else going on. Well, um, she doesn't have any other classes anymore, right? Anymore. She does, she What's does the, still do retreats. She does? Um, she does about, well, on her, she does two or three a month. Mm -hmm. And she's gonna continue to keep that business, but we're closing down the store business end of it. Mm -hmm. Just because it's, yeah, it's not, I don't know, not feasible anymore. Two retail shops, that's so huge. So, um, but like those sign ideas, those are great ideas, but you guys, I, yeah, so. Well, I think, Terry, you go to the Ripon Main Street mm -hmm. meetings, don't you? Mm -hmm. I know that's been a discussion for a couple of years, and I don't know if it's a money issue or if it's the state of Wisconsin, because we have all highways coming in and you just can't yeah. plop a sign, any type of sign, you know, on a highway. Right, yeah. it's got to um, be off of there right away. Yeah, so yeah. those are a lot of questions. Of off of there right away. Because oh, right. they own, so many as a feet. state, there's so much space that they own off of that. That's so uncool. Mm -hmm. So those are a couple of questions. Yeah, are we going to get the benches they were talking about and the bike racks and then what's going on with the signage, it'd be good to just have an update, Terry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And you wanted the bike racks added to that? Well, bike racks, benches, and signage well, were in the original um, <coughs> to-do list. Okay. You know, like when, we, when they were doing the marketing they had that guy in, and he told them, you know, how to drop people down. Oh. Ah, okay. See, that I didn't know about, so I'll bring yeah. that back up. Um, yeah. Dave had the idea of a crosswalk. Right. Right from, it, write that down, please, and bring that up. I mean, that's probably a City of Ripon Department of Public Works issue, but... Right, but it's something... It's, if we, we have a green do. space, you have to have some sort of mm -hmm. safety. You're going to put all that stuff, and it would go right up to the parking. Right. Correct. You're complaining about parking downtown, and there it is, yeah. half a block away. Well, and, and a crosswalk and parking sign. I can yeah. I can tell you that you guys probably see it. You're down there. I'm sure you see it. Cars don't. Uh, I think cars go a lot faster than they're. Oh, oh definitely. Yeah. Going a lot of times. <laughs> definitely. Um, I know the speed trailer was there, and it was, it told a different story. Um, everybody was doing 15 miles an hour like they should, um, but. I think that if you had like out front here, um, where there's a crosswalk, but they have that yield sign there, mm -hmm. that really slows people down, and maybe something like that, you know, yep. yeah, they don't stop stop there, stop right, the kind of in, the, in that stop. 200 block to take away that speed. That speed, yeah. No, that's a good block too. Yeah, I'm getting too slow to cross right there to get the news too. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a, it's kind of a Greedy thing. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't pick you up and bring you to your spot? You would think. <laughs> well, I would think, yeah. yeah. <laughs> can pick me up in an ice cream truck. Right? Yeah. 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 You have to oh, sign up oh. for the deluxe membership to get that. <laughs> I love that truck. You know, uh, the furniture store, he has a sign out on the KK. Mm -hmm. If you miss the traffic, they split really. Right. They split Oshkosh to get over here and they split KK. Well, see, the, 
If he uh, owns this. Well, that's one of the things, yeah, fine, because some of those smaller signs... It would benefit him. Some of were, the yeah. business owners actually went out and purchased those years ago. Yeah. yeah. And we could find out who owns some of them to include, because for the longest time, that big one up uh, coming from Oshkosh, they had... Uh, play. It was work. Eat. Play. Oh, it was work, eat, shop. Right. Ripon, and they had Jays, they had Alliance, and yeah. they had yeah. back porch gatherings on yeah. it. Yeah. So yeah. they split the cost, mm -hmm. you know. So that's another thing, you know. Saying if, if he owns that one, well, he rents it, obviously. Yeah. Right. But, you know. Barrel does. Trey. Mm -hmm. Who yeah. rents it? I don't know who owns it. He probably leases it. Or oh, rents he it. rents it. Okay, right. I got it. I and it's a big. That is, but that's the KK district. Or, Right. Avenue. Mm -hmm. Right. We should go all the way east and west, no matter Well, where. a lot of them that are going to Green Lake, they mm -hmm. cut across KK. Yeah, they just fly past it. That's what I'm saying. So you're missing a big chunk of people that are, and maybe they wouldn't stop, but anyway, mm -hmm. that, that the sign could possibly go well, there. I just spoke to Troy this morning, too. That might be easier to do instead of trying to go through the state and find a yardage away and we have a, we have a We have a scrapbook sign um, at a house in... Princeton, right on 23. Yep. And, um, you know, when we were, we had a sign on KK. You had um, one, yeah, with what's yeah, her name's house. We yeah. had a sign on KK, but what we did was we just picked strategic spots and went, knocked on doors, mm -hmm. asked if we could put a sign there. And it's, it's off the, it's off the right of way. It's in their property. And they said, yeah, you can put a sign. And, you know, we gave them some, some cash for it. And mm -hmm. You had no signs. negative from the state or nobody because you were. No. Right. Private, the township, private property. The township yeah. was. Well, people used to do barns and sheds. And, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I think the church would let us put a sign up. That's one of those big properties headed into town. Who owned the one coming from. Ooh, that Fairwater. would be a good spot there because yeah. it's open. You'd be able to see it to say, you know, the arrow for historic downtown. Yeah. Instead of. Well, who owned the one out on Matoman? Did the city on that one? It fell down and they put it back up. They cleaned it up out there. And oh. That, and that, that, did, that new district area. Oh, yeah. I don't know. School. Yeah. Is the city on that? Oh, that one. The one on 44? Correct. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know who it was. It that. fell down. It was horrible. That, is, that was the city's. That was the city. That is the city's. Hmm. Yep. Hmm. Because they have the spot and they have it. So. Yeah. I'm almost positive it was a chamber, because I asked about that one day, and I think it was the cities. Could have been the chambers, but I don't think so. Hmm. That's just a possibility to mm -hmm. find out who's in charge. Well, how of would we take the next step on this? Would we each submit, like, talk to people in our neighborhoods, our districts, and talk about, you know, where the best places would be, and each of us give a list, or... Would that be up to us, or would that be back to Main Street? Well, I think we or could work together with them, and if we, yeah. And if once the word gets out that everybody, everybody wants to do it, or it's just neighbor to with everybody and try to get one cohesive yeah, I mean, plan. Mm -hmm. Our our Main Street Association, all we're, you know, we're trying to come up with events all the time to bring people in. So the other thing is, yeah, signage and everything else goes along with all that to yeah. try and keep and, people and in because it's, it's nice when they come in for events, but it's that same old thing I keep telling, you know, anybody that's around, during the summer it's great when you have Green Lakers, all the people from Illinois and all over the place that come up and have houses on the lake. Mm -hmm. But you have to be able to be able to survive the rest of the year on your locals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to be able to continue that. That's why this weekend with no Dickens is... <laughs> that is be, so heartbreaking. Gonna be, yeah. yeah. Just Different. one year. Mm -hmm. Just one year. Mm -hmm. Well, it was our thirtieth anniversary. Yeah. Do you see some of the businesses are, are getting their own living windows together? Yeah, we're doing one. Yeah, and all on the same night, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Pretty much, it just comes down to being creative. You see a lot of people when you watch the news and all the people that are getting creative at this time. It's incredible what some people are doing, yeah. and however they're coming up with, it's probably going to live on. They've been able to figure something out out of the box. You watch it a lot on TV, what people mm -hmm. are doing. It's like, and it's all entrepreneur. It's just, you know, and, and yeah, not only, young really, kids are doing a lot of stuff. Not only, Lord, but, yeah, I, and I agree with you. And not only with that, it's the businesses being creative to do something 
yeah. to make themselves some money. Yeah, they got to save themselves because and, you know, it's we've, tough. Man. We've done more shipping this year. I mean, the whole time we've been closed, we've told everybody we're open. We just don't have regular business out, regular store hours. Sure. We've done a lot of private shopping. Contact us. You can have the store to yourself. Oh. And we block it off in, That's great. in one hour increments. They get a hold of my daughter and she goes, I said, we both live in town. We had somebody from Montello and, and they wanted to come back because we were out of a product but it was coming in. And they said, well, we'll just wait till you're open. If you're coming to town and you're on your way, call us. We'll mm -hmm. make it open. We'll make it open yeah. for you. It's mm -hmm. not a problem. I just shipped uh, elderberry syrup to two ladies in New Jersey today. I mean, so it's... Yeah. yeah. We don't turn anything down. We find a way to make it feasible. I mean, sure. Yeah, making it feasible, and it will just and you can continue to do it when things get back to normal, and then you're done. Right, that's one of the things. We are actually growing our internet business, yeah, which we never had. What's happening with a lot of people? Okay, well, Terry, you're going to take that to Ripon Main Street. Yep. So, what yeah. do you guys think? Do you think we should put together some locations that were? Considering well, we can, and ask Main Street to come to one of our meetings? Well, I'll talk to Craig first and see because if this has been, you know, part of their whole thing since Craig's been running that, it has to be like they probably years. have already searched out sites that might work the best. So, and then I could that talk to him and cool. say, okay, then I'll get a hold of John. We'll get it on the agenda. He can come down and we can go through the whole process. Yeah. I think that's the best way to go about it and see okay. where see where they're actually at at with mm -hmm. it. I'll I'll just put it on the agenda. Yeah. yeah. For, for they may, someone may yeah. have a better idea. Than we're just throwing it down. Right. We're just yeah. Right. It's just that now we can partner together and make it yeah. financially feasible that it can get done. Craig's budgeting is off usually. He'll say um, like seven hundred dollars for benches that were three. So even if it didn't seem feasible, I think we should take up where they were and go back. And, well, know. yeah, because like you were saying, I think it's best if we can have two benches down on that corner, Yeah. you know, during the summer. I mean, because that's helping his business. It's helping his customers. And it's in a spot where there isn't a problem anyhow. Like you said, that bench was sitting up against American House for so long, not doing anything. Yeah. And I think there's probably a few business owners that I know personally that if they came along and said, okay, if we can have a bench in front of your facility if you were willing to pay a part of it, they would pay part of it. Well, yeah. that's what I told Craig yeah. when we were because going through this. Call people and ask them if they'll donate money to it. Because one of the biggest things... Uh, I like being on the side of the street we're on now because now when the women come in, the husbands are t they usually sit out front. I just tell them to go down to Canutes, you know, <laughs> go wait for your wife by Canutes and go have a beer. <laughs> but I, I think if you're going to do benches, I mean, there's other corners that we could put more benches on there too. Were, would, I, I could be wrong, but I, I think it, when I was involved anyway, there were like 11 that they were talking about getting. And I'm not really sure why all of that exploded. But there's other there's other places in town that we can put right. those benches mm -hmm. that would yeah. help those other businesses. But they're yeah. concerned about cost. I know where to rent it because in Brandon there's an old guy who has the forms and he makes them. Right. He yeah. Makes them in Brandon and he put them when they're damaged. He, he, I know, right? I know him. <laughs> he, okay. only, yeah. I mean that's and he does it for free. That's wonderful. That's Brandon. The only thing I would say is like, you know, I was going to back then purchase. A bench and put it there, but they're expensive. And right now, mm -hmm. with with the way things are, businesses necessarily don't have that extra money. Well, know? and, yeah. and mm -hmm. if we bought in quantity, we, we would probably have. Or a I better... reach out to this guy. Or reach out to the guy in Brandon. It's just he has the forms. Yeah. All you do is mix them in. You pour them in, and you put your treated lumber on this. Right. Well. Yeah, that's. He's been doing it for years. Sure, over. that's an interesting a guy. Good idea. Yeah. Mm. He's like 80 something plus. It'd be a project weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if somebody's concerned about money, you know, just, right. I'm going to just throw an idea out there. Sure. Not, there's no promises and no guarantees. Okay. But um, I'm going to put my other shirt on for a second. I'll put the, my fire chief shirt on. <laughs> okay. And that is, depending what the cost of those benches would be, um, 
you know, maybe that's something that maybe the Firefighters Association could team up with you and help you with that in addition to maybe they could paint them and put a fire safety message on some of those or, yeah. Yeah. you know, gotcha. um, yeah. 911, you know, just, simple. Mm -hmm. just safety messages, you know, do you have working or have a working smoke detector or whatever the case may be. If there's another something that the police department wants to get out there or whatever, I mean, mm -hmm. just, right. I think yeah. that's one way to do it. I think, um, you know, our deck, you know, the fire department would decorate them or whatever. I, I, think, I think Rotary would do that too. It's we like, did the. It'd be like you the cities where they put their advertising on them. Yeah, yeah you know, exactly. Somebody, like, somebody pays yeah, for the advertising. Like the stones at the square. You buy the squares and make the sidewalk. Yeah. Right. But you know, if you said if you said you want a bench in front of your place or you want a bench, you know, you can either have a. We could do a plain bench. We'll put a plain bench on the corner. But if you want to see the ice cream shop, for example. If you guys want to sponsor a bench, it's 50 bucks for the year, and you can pick your spot where you want to sponsor it. So, for example, if we wanted to sponsor one down in front of a the movie theater, right? Right? We could put a bench in front of a movie theater. We pay 50 bucks a year to have it there, or something like that. But we paint it, we decorate it for our business. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, it it's a great Definitely. revenue generator, yeah. and win, um, win. it's mm -hmm. and it's affordable for the businesses to do something like that. You don't want to, you know, um, price yourself out of right. the yeah. businesses being able to do that. So, mm -hmm. just an idea. Yep. And I think that's a main, rip of Main Street that falls into their category more than, than right. you know preservation. Right. You're just finding out. The what you said for the the width, what we needed for all the front, mm -hmm. that was our part of it. Now we can take the rest of this, like I've got written down. I can go discuss that. With Craig. But we can't yeah. just drop it if they drop it. I mean, if we have to bring it up again and push it another way. Well, well I already, think, I yeah. already know I'm going to get pushed back because we didn't have the summer concerts and we didn't do this, we didn't do that. So it's going to be a money situation, and that is what I'm looking for. The money, it's like. What are the ideas that you had? Mm -hmm. Well, his idea with individual owner, you know, shop owners mm -hmm. paying and, you know, contacting groups like um, the Fire Association and the Rotary Club and who is Kiwani? Kiwanis. Isn't there another um, the group? Kiwanis. New Kiwanis. New Kiwanis. Yeah, so they might, you know, DFW. dig in. Yeah. And um, I don't know, I just think we can't stop. If they choose not mm -hmm. to do it, yeah. you've got alliance. You've got yeah, oh, yeah. and that's the other thing. Smuckers. I always say I mean, that when big, he says yeah. he can't afford something. But like, if I could say something, I think that if we're going to those big companies, I think we want to keep it first to our smaller, because for Offer, example, yeah. for oh, example, definitely. your T stuff, you could advertise on a bench in front of a movie theater. I could advertise mine. In front of well, Roadhouse, they don't have ice cream. I, I would say Roadhouse or crazy. Tall Paul's. I yeah. would say Tall Paul's <laughs> is a joke, but you know, so <laughs> two so, o'clock you get knocked out. So, yeah. Yeah. so if people are so if people are at one point of the city, and they may they they weren't going to walk down there, but maybe they'll see your bench and be like, oh, you know, let's go there. Yeah, yeah. let's go there, and then they get down there, and then they see another bench that says, let's go there. So well, if you plus keep all it, that window exposure. If you keep it to the if you keep it to the downtown businesses, I think would yeah. be a would yeah, be I would fill it there first. Yeah, you can yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. but, okay, that's good. And also with the sidewalk stuff, we have to make sure that the things that are out are not only appropriate, but they're not torn apart and, because we don't want that image. You know, things should be fairly can you send well me kept. A, can you send me a text with that that you got from Lud? Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. so I got those dimensions so I can put sure. it on my phone, so. Yep. Our, our flag we put out at the ice cream shop, you know, we've been doing that for, since we've been there. It doesn't hurt anybody. Um, it, adver it advertises the business. It's not in the walking area. You know, we're not damaging any property by doing it. So I think when we talk about flags, you know, if people are using flags and they're putting those flags out, as long as they're kept up and yeah. it's not hurting anybody. 
you know, mm -hmm. I don't know. I've seen them in there. That's past the 18 inches. I would be worried about if you know, everybody starts putting a flag up in front of their, that it looks right. a little cheesy or whatever the word would be. I don't know. people that just don't, they're not motivated to do stuff on that level. So there's always just a few that mm -hmm. want to do it. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Hopefully. I'm, I'm not saying that. I don't. I, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. If it gets to be a problem, but if it's not a problem, uh, if it's kept up, right, know, and that's because of an issue, then we yeah. need to look at it. But that's maybe what I said before, as, as, as long as the people police the themselves and yeah. nobody's complaining about it, and yeah, it's fine. It's Tomorrow, time. there's not a hundred flags out there. That's, right. You know, <laughs> I like think that would be if, if it starts that way, then we're gonna. Yeah. See, I was, look I was thinking of like right from from. Street to street across the big banner, like they that's used that's to. Fine. Yeah. We used to have them. In the really summer, there were there was there banners was, mm -hmm. all the I remember time. the night we had the downtown fire. There was a wire going across the across downtown, like. Whoa! Oh, they had was, banners. Yeah, they had a lot of banners. Are they? Is that gone now? No, it was no. all canvas. I have some from the. Well, the wire across the street's gone. Yeah. Yeah. The wire, yeah. But, but, they, but they had they had banners all over. I'm surprised Santa didn't get decapitated. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that kind of scary? I have an ice cream social banner from the Oddfell. It either went that way or this way. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Does anybody have a calendar? Uh, it's January 5th is our next meeting. All right. Tuesday, January 5th. What time? Oh, Six I, my project is complete, so I can, <laughs> I can start meeting at 6 again, if you guys want to switch it. I don't um, mind the 6.30. No, me either. I don't either. I don't either. Let's, let's, give me time to eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> time I put tools up and whatever and start things on, yeah. With the sidewalk advertising, so is that the same that that has to be within the 18 to 24 inches? You mean like the sandwich boards and Yeah, stuff? the sandwich boards. Yeah, I don't know. What did he say? You're not supposed to have on the sidewalk. Not spo right. Yes. That's, okay. I'm going to say, right now I'm going to say yes, but I'm not the city attorney. Right. But that's the way I understood. That's the way that's I, a, that's the way the I was way understanding was it. Yeah. But the exceptions are the tables and chairs. Right. That you get a permit for. It, yes. Yeah. In front of print. restaurants, but that's it. Mm -hmm. See, because... Tammy doesn't have one. I know I've got one. I know most everybody does. Really? Has a sidewalk. Well, I haven't seen mm -hmm. them. Yeah. Same with words. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. My mask is I, making me sweat. That's I, just, I just want to make sure that that fall in, <laughs> fell in the same category. So when I talk when at our meeting, you know, I can start to sway people into putting up. Uh, we'll go with. You know, a lot of them, some of them have just the flag that comes off, the flag pole, you know, that comes sure. off the building mm -hmm. that says open. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I've never been a fan of the sandwich board myself, but we do use it. Yeah, me either. I well, think it's, it's, it's more lower, fun. and if you have cars parked, you can't always. You can't see it. You though. can't see it. Right. That's why the sign up above higher is better. I right. like the ones that people do with their handwriting. The chalkboard. Yeah, that's what we Rather had. than yeah. that's prettier. But I think anybody that comes to Ripon, it's only three blocks. They're going to walk both sides, all three blocks. Oh, you're so But the wrong. sandwich boards, the sandwich you're boards really are a big part of people's businesses. Yeah. The, mm -hmm. the sandwich boards they're just, are they're here part of all the on the like so They're not going to miss the store. I don't they're know gonna, about that. I've no, seen a no, lot no, of no, people. No, you can sit downtown and you can watch shoppers. people. I mean, we haven't even been open, open, but the difference in traffic to the east side uh, that we're on now compared to the west side is huge. Well, yeah, there's because a... you have Canutes because they want to eat. Exactly. And what they do is they 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 come in, they do patina V, yeah. and then they'll go to back porch gatherings. Yeah. Then they go and get something to eat, and then they won't th always cross. And then no. Well, yeah, you. Uh, when I when we were across the street. Dan from Backport Gatherings would practically lead them by the hand across to our shop <laughs> all the time. Yeah, because you got the, the whole, the, you know, the American house, it's empty. Right. You've got the hotel, it's a hotel that takes up a third of the block. Yeah. There's nothing there. Right. Unless you're going in the hotel it's, room. Right. And people won't cross the street. I mean, it's there. And then what they would do is they'd go to Patina V's, they might switch across to Adorn because they're right there on the corner, and then they go back across right away. 
Yeah, that was true with Hamilton's too. Mm -hmm. People sometimes shot over there, but truthfully, they don't go all the way up and down. Mix, no. no, I I'm wish. Just, but I'm just speaking out myself. Yeah. I used to yeah. go to Cedar and people I don't miss any people at because everything's the 200, 300 block. There isn't much on the 100 block, and people won't even don't even want to park in the 100 block to walk. Two and three hundred. You can it's you can look at only three blocks. I know, but two and three hundred is full, and you can look down the street, and there's parking spots all over on the one hundred mm -hmm. block, and they just. Christina's pulls a lot of people in. Yes. On the weekend, especially, I've noticed you can't park, uh, but that's great. I love yeah. it. Okay. Well, next meeting will be January fifth, six thirty. And I'll accept the motion for adjournment. Um, if the motion be adjourn. I'll second it. Motion by Billy, seconded by Kathy Lee. To adjourn, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, you guys know, for, thank you for coming in.